Why you sacrificing him with the basic? I'm gonna kill you for <laughs> My erectile is not dysfunctional. <laughs> Let's use our president, for example. Are you over 10,000 kilometers away from South Africa? Conspiracy theorists. I can, I can open the door for you to join the Illuminati. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Hey, how's it guys? Welcome to another episode of Nippy Custom. My name is DJ Nipro. As you know, uh, this thing of saying which episode number it is, we've already thrown in the towel on that one because we never get it right. <laughs> There's still some episodes that are not yet podcast, so I'll be lying to you, but I'm sure we're on 40 something now. We entered uh, the 40th episode um, last week, I think, or just this, this recently this month. Uh, so thanks for everyone who's been supporting Nepicast, even though we don't have a lot of viewership or a lot of subscribers, but uh, little by little, uh, we'll hopefully grow. Otherwise, uh, today's episode is going to focus on something we call how to, how to do certain things. There's those generic things that you, you'll be like, um, you wonder how to fix them, but they're always your daily problems. Or, or daily obstacles. No, it's not like something uh, mind-boggling where we're gonna say, "Ah, no, your life will stop if you don't even know how to do this thing." You've been living life sometimes without probably even knowing it. Some probably even know the solutions we're gonna give you. Uh, there's popular ones and there's also unpopular ones. Um, the reason why I came up with this uh, episode is because this morning I was trying to eat an avo avocado. Yeah, yeah, that thing. You cut it. <laughs> you cut it, you, you you look away, when you look back, it's brownish, and, and then you feel like you need to consume it now, because you kind of like have a feeling where it's getting rotten, or something, right, okay, it's just becoming brownish, uh, sometimes you might not eat the whole ever, you will probably prefer to eat half of it, and then keep the other for later on, some people probably try to wrap it up with the plastic, so that maybe it doesn't brown faster, but the solution of that, when I read it up um, this morning, it says one technique is to squeeze a bit of lemon juice or lime juice. So basically, hopefully, if you are not allergic to citrus, then you can try out this one. But if you're allergic to citrus, I don't know. Okay, maybe they'll give us another option. But so this is for people who are not allergic to citrus, which is fresh lemon or lime juice. So you you, you squeeze a little bit of it on top of the cut side of the evo, the one that you're going to reserve in the fridge or outside, wherever you're going to leave it. So here's the science behind it. Uh, they're saying the acidity, acidity of the juice from the lemon or lime will hinder the activity of uh, polyphenol oxidase, which pumps the brakes on the browning. Uh, so it, basically, in, in English, they're saying the juice, lemon juice, slows down the browning of, of the of the evo. And by the way, when it when it's brown, I don't think it's really rotten. It's just that you you don't feel comfortable eating it like that, you know. Mm. And then, oh, by the way, another option if you are allergic to uh, citrus. Lemon or, or lime. Another option is to brush the avocado, the avocado flesh with olive oil. Uh, I'll put up uh, the source of this. Uh, this kind of like makes sense. But another quick option is to eat the whole fucking ever. <laughs> finish the damn shit. <laughs> finish it. When when you when you cut one, just be ready to finish it. Because unless if it's like so big, if it's so big, then yeah, uh, you're on your own. So that's the ever part. Uh, let's go to this is a, so, uh, how to number one, right? I think we've got how to num uh, six of, or seven today. Uh, it's the first edition. We're gonna keep doing it at random uh, as, as we go with the nippy cast. Let's look at um, oh, the next one is uh, how to number two on this nippy cast episode of how to how to cut onions without crying like a baby. <laughs> All right, uh, it says. Uh, a dull knife smashes rather than slices. So this in English, in plain English, in, in a public school English, a dull knife like a uh, doesn't really do justice on the cutting of the onion. So it it, it, it it smashes it. So smashing it, it will be releasing some juices rather than slicing it. And this is the juices... Oh, 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 
chemicals that make you uh, teary. Don't use a dull knife. Make sure it's a very, very sharp knife. Or cut this thing underwater. Or put it in the freezer for a while and so that it chills down and then you can cut it. So it wouldn't make you cry. But look, uh, some people are used to it. Uh, they actually literally used to uh, the, the teary moments when they cut the onion. So I don't know. These are just the how to. It's not like it's going to stop you from living a life or it's going to improve your life in any better but it just makes it a bit simpler uh, this is the nipikas uh, how to edition so this is on how to number two of cutting the onion without having to cry like a baby <laughs> uh, uh, okay so oh now we just advised you that you should use a sharp knife so that it cuts immediately it doesn't re release the the the, the what you call the chemical that makes you cry of the onion so now the next how to is how to stop a flesh wound from bleeding so this is just in case if you cut your your, your thumb or your, your finger while you're trying to cut the onion <laughs> see we've got solutions here we don't just create <laughs> um, problems alone because a sharp knife can be a problem so the next one is how to stop a flesh wound from bleeding but this is a basic one. I'm sure you, all of us who are watching this have, have actually kind of like gone through this before in our lives. You apply direct pressure on the cut or, or on the wound with a clean cloth, tissue or piece of case until bleeding stops. So now the part where it confuses us, if, if, if the blood soaks through the material that you're using like tissue or cloth uh, and whatnot, they're saying don't remove it. Because now you are you are reversing the whole process. Just uh, put more cloth or gaze on top of it and continue to apply pressure. Because I think the moment you remove it because it's too bloody, or the cloth or the tissue, you, you're actually starting from scratch. That's why maybe more often than not, you, you, your, or your bleeding would, wouldn't stop immediately. Uh, which I suspect is the same approach of for nose bleeding. Uh, but with nose bleeding is another scenario. But this for mostly for a fresh wound. So you just put it there. Whether it's getting bloodier or whatnot, just keep applying more pressure on it. That's how you would stop uh, a flesh wound from bleeding too much. So that's how to number three on this Nipikast episode of how to. Okay, this one is funny. <laughs> this how to is very, very funny. Now. Uh, this one, uh, I don't know how it came. How to number four on Nipikast. How to get pregnant. Uh, this one. <laughs> Uh, how to get pregnant okay no th th basically they're saying 10 foods to improve chances of getting pregnant how to get pregnant i think we all know ne? but the, the food will help you on getting pregnant they say leafy vegetables beans milk eggs berries um, brown bread dry fruits salmon what's the other one i can't see the other one salmon uh banana red meat should i say the list again food not how to get pregnant this food won't get you pregnant you know how to get pregnant it will just improve the odds of the chances of you getting pregnant don't go there and say, nah, I said you should eat these things and you'll get pregnant. No, no. <laughs> this is, will only help you on improving the odds of getting pregnant. If you are planning to get pregnant. This is Nipikast, the how-to edition. It's leafy vegetables. Um, like your spinach and you know, all those. And then beans. Um, milk. Eggs. Berries, brown bread, uh, dry fruits, <laughs> salmon. Salmon is like what is some type of a fish, right? Uh, banana, red meat. So the red meat, I don't know if uh, it should be should be well done or or, or rare or or, or what not. I repeat the list from the bottom. Red meat, banana, salmon, dry fruits, brown bread, berries, eggs, milk, beans, 
leafy vegetables all this can help you on improving the chances of trying to get pregnant this one is not exactly on how to it's how to improve the chances of getting pregnant these are the 10 foods that i found when i was looking like i said earlier on don't say i said me i said so i'm sure most of you have reached a point where when you are working or in or cooking in the kitchen you bump into a bowl uh, or not even not a bowl man you bump i mean you let's use what uh, maybe a beetroot uh, beetroot container beetroot uh, is it a container whatever beetroot is it a bottle or a mayonnaise actually mayonnaise is the best example you try to open that and it just tells you, fuck you, I'm not getting opened now. I'm not getting opened at all now. So this is how to open, uh, should I say, breaking the seal on the lid. Uh, they say, you know, tap around the lid of the jar with a wooden kitchen spoon, Lufo, to break the seal. So it's not like you're, you're, you're breaking, breaking, like like damaging. You know, you grab a, a wooden kitchen spoon, uh, the heavier the better, tap the lid on the jar, on top of on top of the jar, I mean a couple of times, around the edges, to, to, uh, to, to pop the seal, uh, to just around it, and then it will loosen up a little bit. I think the most stubborn that I've, I've bumped into is, is, is the mayonnaise one, the mayonnaise one. Ah, beetroot is not bad. And then the others, I don't know whatever type of uh, uh, containers you, you bump into. Uh, the ones where even at home you are, you are told, Hey, come on, the bavure! Come on, the Oh, another one that I think you can also try, besides using the wooden spoon in, in case if you might break the bottle, you can also try to apply uh, hot water around the lid. This one I'm just telling you from the top of my head because I think I've used it before. Yeah, and then it will also... Uh, help uh, loosen up uh, uh, the, 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 the what you call we call it furo or whatever is it muru or what at the top there I don't know the word in English but I'll probably try to find it out for you so that's that's how to number five on today's nippy cast how to edition um, <clears throat> breaking the seal on the lead the next one hey this one you love it uh, for the weekend uh how to chill beer fast like chill beer like like how do you how do you make a cold how do you make beer cold in under five minutes how do you make a beer cold in five minutes yes <laughs> but this one i think uh, some of us know it uh, it says if you need to cool down a lot of beers in under five minutes take your cooler like a cooler bag right or a big bowl fill it with ice salt like uh, like a handful of, of salt depending on how big the container is and then water so somebody's gonna ask why do you need ice if uh, what are, why are you gonna pour water on top of ice the, it's, it's the ice and water quickens the process of of, of of it getting cold because it's no longer in between the ice now it's inside the cold the cold water of, like at 100 percent because once 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 you put it in the ice the other parts of the bottle are not necessarily attached um, are not necessarily in touch with the with the actual coldness of 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 of, of the uh, of, of the ice so but if, if if you put ice and water inside there it 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 it, uh, it 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 covers the whole bottle but now salt also perpetuates the, the the coldness because salt lowers the freezing point of water this will cool the beer down within 5 to 7 minutes yes this is how to cool the beer in under five minutes. Should I read it again? If you need to cool down a lot of beers in under five minutes, take your cooler and fill it with salt, ice, and water. Not a lot of salt, by the way, like a handful. Salt lowers the freezing point of water. This will cool the beer down within five to seven minutes. Cool. Uh, so, and now when you're drinking this beer, tomorrow morning you'll be what? Hangover, right? Now let's cross over to how to get rid of a hangover. <laughs> uh, the, the, the trick of hangover, 
than anything else or other medication or whatever or tablets or whatever that they're going to make you buy the chemist. The best way is to drink water. But there's one that people don't really do in advance. There's two points of it. I know most of my friends have uh, suggested that we do it right before we sleep. That also works, right? Even drinking some caffeine before you sleep, that also works a little bit. But to guarantee this, there's a process. It starts a day before. One of the easiest ways to avoid hangover is hydrating prior to drinking. In the next, uh, sorry, in, in the 48 hours before. So in the past, in, before you start drinking, prior that, you, you would have 48 hours before you start drinking. Carry a water bottle around with you. For example, today, if it's, it's what, let's say if you start drinking on Thursday, uh, on, on Fridays, you should start drinking a lot of water from... Uh, Wednesday, you carry a water bottle around with you and drink as much as possible. Remember, it's recommended to have eight glasses of water on a normal day. Try to double that if you are if you are drinking. So while you are also drinking over the weekend, if let's say it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Friday, Saturday, you should also in between also drink some water. And uh, on on top of that, before you sleep, after you drink, then also drink some water. The hangover won't be any problem. On Monday, you'll be as fresh as a baby. And you'll be more productive than the other Mondays that you were always hungover. <laughs> Thank you for watching Nipicast, uh, the how-to edition. Mm, uh, see you on the next one. Garar, sharp, sharp. Why are you sacrificing with the basis? I want to kill you before. <laughs> My erectile is not dysfunctional. Let's use our president, for example. Are you over 10,000 kilometers away from South Africa? Conspiracy theorists. I can, I can open the door for you to join the Illuminati. We're <laughs> winning everyone. <laughs>